Hey everybody, how you doing? Right, she had her first run today. Um, I think that's the first run she's had in about 15 years. Nah, maybe. I don't know how long, but I would hazard a guess at probably around about that. It was only around the uh, park where I live. Um, we went round a couple of times. She had a few issues. She was over revving, um, that sort of thing, which is okay, because it that's what it was meant for. So I could uh, spend some time trying to work out what the issues are with her. I think uh, a mate pointed out to me about the accelerator cable that it could be dry. Um, uh, so I've had that all apart and uh, lubed it up again um, I haven't had the carbs apart yet um, yeah she ran okay still had a bit of an issue with fueling but I haven't had the carbs apart yet as I said I haven't been in there and cleaned them I need to do that the paint job's not come up too badly there's some issues here and there little tiny bits that were were missed there was a little scratch up here that I've I don't know how that happened. I've obviously caught it when I've moved the bike or whatever, but hey ho. Um, sticker wise, I was gonna go for Coca Cola stickers. Um, no sugar and Coca Cola stickers on here, but I've, I've kind of decided against that uh, because the colour kind of reminds me of the Coca Cola can, but hey ho. Uh, that's just me. So what I think I am going to do is I'm going to try and get hold. Oh, let's get set down for a minute. I'm going to try and get hold of some proper Japanese uh, stickers. Um, Japanese writing, you know, Kawasaki in Japanese and uh, maybe GPZ in Japanese, GPZ 500 in Japanese, that sort of thing. So it, it goes kind of, yeah, I've seen ninjas and stuff with Japanese writing on and what have you, that sort of thing. So I'm, I'm thinking about going down the, that theme, that road. So yeah, I'll have to have a, either a look online. Saying that, my youngest son actually lives in Japan. Um, he might be able to dig me up some Japanese, proper Japanese writing Kawasaki motorbike stickers or GPZ 500S Kawasaki stickers, whatever. Um, any sort of motorbike Kawasaki related, uh, Japanese writing stickers. I think I'm gonna go with that. So I'll have a look online anyway, but um, if my uh, youngest son is watching at any point or watches this video, there's a little job for you. Find me some Japanese Kawasaki stickers, either in black or white. I'm thinking black would maybe stick out more I don't know, white would be very nice, but I'm going to go with black. I'm going to go with black. I think nice black Japanese writing Kawasaki stickers. And I want kind of, oh, I don't know. Oh, this sort of size here. So we're talking, what about, oh, 19... 19 inches roughly along there and about three inches high and for the side panels some quite long ones I haven't got my tape measure on me so I can't give you a I can't give you a spectrum on that uh, let's go oh, let's go Maybe 600, mm, 600 centimetres long, something like that. Yeah, and again about three inches high. Uh, yeah, so something like that. Um, 
some nice Japanese writing or even some sort of Japanese might be bike related writing or whatever as long as uh, it can be uh, I've lost my words me train of thought basically if it's in Japanese writing as long as it actually reads uh, Kawasaki or something like that I know what I mean my head's just jumbled up because it's extremely hot out it's been hot all day it's, it must be about 30 in the in the van we live in easily I would have thought um, yeah so any sort of motorbike stickers great in Japanese writing uh, probably I want obviously the the same for either side of the tank um, same for either side of the back side panels and what I, yeah any other type of Japanese stickers that uh, maybe something Japanese related that could go on the front here either round or square I don't know any any sort of Japanese thing that could go on there maybe a little one for in here yeah so what are we looking at one two three four five six six sort of stickers maybe yeah I don't know I'll have to have a look on I'll have a look online later and see what they do um, must be able to get them you've got to be able to because uh, their bikes would have it in Japanese it's a Japanese bike um, so yeah anyway uh, getting there with her as I said I, I had a little run round on her only two times around me little track here but obviously I can't take her on the road yet because she's not uh, she's not road legal um, she's not road legal yet I haven't sorted that side of it she's got a paperwork she's got a V5 but uh, kind of nothing else is road legal on her yet no MOT or anything like that I, I don't want to go up that route until I've got her working as she should be I haven't bled the back brake yet um, I've got to do that I must do that next actually that's going to be one of my next jobs I did notice she had a tiny tiny and it was minuscule a little bit of oil had uh, come out round the sump gasket it was minuscule it was tiny um but we're we're talking she's an old bike now what 20 26 27 years old um so yeah i'm gonna have the odd leak or whatever here and there my my I, i'm just trying to get her sorted out i was having an issue with each time she conked out that she wouldn't kind of start after that um because the battery was going a bit lame but I think I've just solved that one as well I didn't realize the back light um, was coming on the switch obviously had dirt or something in it that was creating a problem so I put some switch cleaner in there and flicked it back and forwards and that came off um, so yeah that's that one uh, back brake light not working uh, bulb bulbs black I don't know whether the other bulb has a brake light on it as well I do you know I really don't know I haven't looked yet so I'll get a new bulb as soon as I can I need a new bulb a new flasher unit I haven't had a chance to get that done and she needs an oil change um, but we're nearly there we are nearly there um, I know I keep going on about the oil change but you know I just I ha haven't had the time um, the weather has been really warm um, 
and it's sometimes a bit too hot even to be be out here sort of doing things like that I gave her a polish up today because the paintwork wasn't the best it isn't the best work I've ever done you know there's a few nicks in it and lines in it and stuff like that but I've given her a bit of a um, I went over her with some well, God. My honestly, my brain today is terrible. I think it's the, I've had too much sun. Teacup, that's the word I was looking for. I went over her with a little bit of teacup. Um, yeah, went over her with a little bit of teacup just to take some of the little dinks and shit out uh, where there was a bit of overspray and stuff. Got her shined up quite nicely. Um, yeah, that's that's okay. Um, that side of it, we're getting there with that. That's going to still, that'll always take a little bit of work, paint work, because obviously, you know, I've done it in the back garden. It's not the best of circumstances. So, yeah, there's some crappy bits on it. But considering the way she looked when she first came to me, I think I'm doing well. Back tyre, really, really pleased with the back tyre. Um, it handled very well, the bike, and once I get this flu fueling issue and or carburetor issue sorted out, um, yeah, she should run even better. Uh, I might even drop the airbox off, to be honest with you, soon, because I have been told that with these, sometimes they run better without the airbox. So I might even try that. The airbox could be causing the issue. I haven't even looked at it yet. It could be full of crap. Might even have a mouse nesting in it or something. You never know. I've had that before. Well, I haven't had it, but I know people that have. So, yeah, you can get m mice and things. Where they're outside, they get in and uh, they put all twigs and bits of fluff and priceless what else in there. And, you've got an issue where it's not breathing properly so I'm gonna have to drop the airbox out I think and spray some carb cleaner up her and, and get her running a lot better than what she is a lot better um, but it is all time uh, you know I've only been out here for a little while today fiddling about um, because I got her started after I got the battery on took her for a little run and just been tinkering since um, yeah still a couple of little things I want to sort out on her uh, so bulb flasher unit oil change um, and I don't know why well I do know why but I've, I've got to bloody find out where it is because I've, I'm sure I've had this issue before the neutral light is staying on now that is a tiny little switch by the gear box side somewhere. I, do you know, I really can't remember for the life of me. I'm going to have to have a look. Um, it's a tiny, tiny little switch thing that clips in, uh, goes in and out when you change gear and it switches the light off. Well, that's not working. Now it could be that it's just dirty and needs a clean or the little pin is um, stuck or something like that because it's dirty so we'll get onto that as well at some point but as I said today has been really too hot to kind of do any of it I've done as I said I've done a few little bits but uh, you can't win with the weather it's either tipping it down with rain or too cold or to bleed not um, this is why a garage is great if you've got a nice conditioned garage and you can do all your spraying and no bits are going to land on it when you've painted it and stuff like that but hey ho look we're getting there we are getting there she I would say she is 85% done 85% done there are a couple of little bits that I can do but they don't need doing if you know what I mean 
like the levers changing the levers and stuff like that but I'm going to try and find an original lever for the left hand side um, yeah I'm going to try and find an, a, an original lever for the left hand side because it's got a red one that somebody's put on it the bike's been down the road at some point judging by some of the scrapes and stuff on it and where brake you know bits were slightly bent and what have you I, I can tell it ain't it ain't an issue it isn't an issue the, the bike itself the frame is fine um, she ran really well you know felt good taken around the my little circuit that I take them around um, apart from over revving obviously but that again could be something is stuck where the bike's been dropped um, you know something might be I might need to get in there and look at the carbs again because the uh, accelerator cable may be getting caught up on something down the bottom but when I opened it up there was a little tiny plastic at the top there was a little tiny plastic um, guide bit that the wire is supposed to go round the wire was not in the right place so I've I've put it all back in and it's gone back in properly now where the wires actually round where it should be running so that could have been causing an issue um, but until I've charged the battery again yeah you <laughs> sorry you've got my motorbike boots on here motorbike boots and shorts shouldn't ride in shorts but I did uh, and it's very naughty of me I literally only went round the block but I've done that before where um, you know I came off years ago where I said oh it's okay I'm only going round the block and that's always the when things happen so yeah I'm gonna slap myself on the wrist for for doing that but it, it is mighty hot and i just literally really wanted to see whether the bike was going to run round and go into gear and everything she did go into gear she was going into gear fine um no hesitations there dropped her down into first into second in third uh, didn't go any higher than that because um obviously i wasn't really going fast enough but yeah, so all these little things that I've, I've done are helping to get the bike uh, running better than what she she has been, uh, purely and simply because she's been sat for so long and obviously she's sitting each time out here when I leave her. That's why now each time I stop I, I disconnect the battery and take it off and pop it in my little cupboard just so it doesn't just in case there's something on there that's draining it or something that I don't don't know about yet um, so yeah excuse me uh, yeah so we're doing really well uh, sorry this weather is really draining me Oh, let me put my sunglasses back on. Yeah, we're doing really, really well. We're, 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 we are nearly there with her. Um, I think I've still got a problem with the petrol tap, maybe. Until I get the carbs running better, we're not going to be able to work out whether that is an issue or not at the minute. Um, the little run she had today really help it really will help with that because I've got some cleaner uh, in the fuel anyway some like injector cleaner type stuff that goes in and cleans the uh, jets and what have you um, so that will help that will help most definitely um, with a rover revving it could still be a stuck float could still be a stuck float on that one and that would mean stripping down the carbs which I really 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 did not want to do at the moment because they can be an arse of a job 
one, getting them off, two, getting them back on, three, getting them back together. Um, but it could be something like she's got a, a, a hole in one of the floats and it's filling up with fuel and it's holding it down, pushing too much fuel through, anything like that. And until I get into that, I'm just gonna keep running around for the moment if I can. So I get cleaner into her that's going to help. I don't know if you see that little kitty run past then. Little tabby, tabby cat ran past. Mouse is out here somewhere. He's basking in the shade under a bush somewhere, I should imagine by now. Anyway, guys, I'd like to say thank you very much to everyone out there. Um, subscribers and people that watch my mindless dribble. Um, hope you're all well. I hope you're doing well in your projects. I don't know about... Um, there is a, a, a young lad I've been chatting to. Um, he sends me the message every now and then. I believe it was Paul. I haven't been on this for a while. so um, Yeah, I believe it's Paul. I can't remember exactly. I'm sure it's Paul. Um, he's got one of these bikes himself and uh, he was going to drag it out because uh, he wants to start rebuilding it himself um, and uh, I'm sure he, he said to me he'd found a few broken bits and pieces that where it had been sat there well, these things they can be fixed anything can be fixed it, it, you know at the end of the day it doesn't have to look absolutely perfect it's just as long as you're happy with it um i get i'm very an, very anal with paintwork and things very anal with that and uh you know somebody will come out and go oh it looks really brilliant and i'll go no 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 it don't there's a mark here there's a mark there's this is got a slight chip that's got a little scratch so yeah I'm a bit anal when it comes to that sort of shit I do like the paintwork to look nice and I like the exhaust to look um, nice and shiny which uh, I did a bit of that the other day I need to do a bit more of that to work on those a bit more need to get a radiator cover um, one of the nice chrome radiator covers Purely and simply, the radiator is very, very grubby. I'm going to have to clean it out, but it is very grubby. Um, but the covers really do stop stones flicking up and damaging the radiator any more than whatever damage it's got on it. So that's a that's a defo. That is definitely get one of those at some point. I want to get a. Um, what's that? God, I've got something, something on the tank now. Look, see, that's 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 me. That is, I've come over here and a bird or something has whooped past. We'll give that a little, give that a little rub off, and uh, I will go and get a better cloth in a moment. Yeah, it's not good, is it? Okay, we'll go and get the polishing cloth in a moment. Then. Um, I've lost my entire train of thought again now. Um, yeah, I want to get a tank uh, pad. You can get these nice fancy tank pads. Once again, I could have something in Japanese. Something Japanese here. Maybe some Japanese manga or something like that on there. I don't know, go in there. They just protect when you're sitting on the bike, if you've got a belt on, uh, which I normally always wear a belt, or your little buttons on your jeans or whatever, they they hit these bits and they damage the tank. So I do like the old tank pads, so we'll get a tank pad. Um, yeah, we'll get one of those, I think, at some point. Once again, that comes in the sticker range, really. One of them. Um, they cost peanuts. You're looking at, uh, what, a couple of quid. 
you really are for a tank pad you can pick them up so cheaply and they just literally peel off and stick on and it really does help to protect the the tank when you when you're riding the bike still haven't done this uh still haven't got a uh number plate holder yet not a not the proper one not the original i'm thinking about getting a more modern one and uh seeing if i can adapt it the, the reason being i don't like this this should be in a plastic frame so it is very rough it's very wrong it is wrong that's wrong that is no good um we'll get that sorted we'll get that sorted at some point i would like the original uh, number plate holder if I could because it's a black plastic that comes down here and then these Can clip into it the indicators can clip into it these round bits here clip in so it all looks tidier and nicer I don't know see I don't want to change the indicators because of the front fairing um, These indicators fit in there perfectly so I don't really want to get anything too modern where I've got to change the back indicators. Uh...